I was in Leicester last week and I came in contact with this Nigerian mom that made me have a reorientation about the current realities of maybe some people here in the UK that came in as a migrant. Good morning, my name is Kineka. The time is 2 a.m. and I'm making this video because it seems like a burden in my heart. And this is because I've made videos talking about how the UK is a very good place to migrate to. But my conversation with this mom, she, I call her mommy because she's way, way over 50. And she came into the UK as a student and was gracious enough to share her experience with me. That really, really touched my heart. And immediately I realized I probably have not been in tune with the reality of so many Nigerian students or African students that migrate to the UK on the student route platform. As a matter of fact, I immediately felt this special spot for them that, what? You people go through all this? You are really, really trying. I didn't want to feel like Nigerian politicians that always travel by air and don't understand the reality of we poor Nigerians that are using the road. And this is why I decided to come back to make this video, especially for people that migrate to this UK as a student. So how did I meet this mommy? While I was in Leicester, I bought a day ticket to allow me to commute easily but I was lucky to finish in Leicester as early as 2 p.m. and I didn't want the day ticket to waste and here in Leeds I have seen people come down from the bus and they don't need their day ticket again give it to other people do you need their ticket and people just collect it so I did the same thing in Leicester approaching people do you need a day ticket and they were all ignoring me like no thank you then I met this black mom and as I was approaching her she just paused like eh -huh, what i said no everything is fine i'm just going to ask you if you live in less than if you can have this day ticket and immediately she busted into laughter and i was looking at her that is everything okay she told me that she thought i'm a student and i am stranded and i'm probably looking for a place to pass the night because it's either i have come visiting university any of the university in Leicester to see my lecturer for project or something and i'm passing the night there so i'm looking for a black that could accommodate her i said really do people do that and she began to know it lots and lots of things that people do here as students in the uk not because they actually want to but students already most of these students do not come in with their full school fees we all know that school fees abroad is expensive because you are paying as a foreigner you're not paying as a citizen they have to deal with paying their house rent other bills that they have to sort and of all this they have just 20 hours to work which some of them may not earn so much to be able to even cover up their school fees please kindly note that this video is not in any way to bring down students but rather to appreciate all what they go through seeing that say because i came in as on a skilled worker visa so i'm quite disconnected from their reality and this woman was gracious enough to share her own experience with me this woman i'm talking about she's almost in the league of my mom's age and i was looking at her that why would you go through all this thing when you had a good life in nigeria by good life i mean she said she was working in national hospital abuja well i don't know her rank um, as a nurse and she had over 20 years experience but forfeited everything and came over here to the uk to start all over as a student but luckily for her she got a job along the line that she was able to sponsor her so she kind of switched her visa and she lives somewhere else another town but usually still come to leicester to come and go see her supervisor at least to complete her study ah i was even just telling her that you know i'm about to have something doing in leicester but i don't think i'm going to take it up because of the distance and the stress and committing and this is a woman that is doing it with two boys that day i just sat down and then something touched me in my heart that yes it's true people are really really going through a lot in this uk because of the stories she shared with me i had another experience again on monday and that experience was another student so i was in the market to shop the local open market and in this local open market if you don't have cash 
I'm sorry, you may likely not get anything to buy. It is hard for you to see people that will want to take transfer from you, except you go inside in the stores. So, and what I wanted to buy was outside. I spent one hour trying to beg people, like, can I pay into your account? And you just withdraw the money and give to me. And nobody was answering. Looking for me, one guy came. So the guy probably picked that I'm a Nigerian from the way I spoke. I just begged him, Oga, I beg. Hey, please, it's just 25 pounds. I don't know why people are not agreeing for me to make this transfer to them. And then the guy just asked me, are you a Nigerian? I said, yes. He now felt a bit comfortable and allowed me. After that, we started conversing. He started asking me, so what are you doing here? How did you come here? I said, this husband that carried me and come. He said, okay, how did husband come? I said, he came in through walk route that he lectures at the university here. And he was shocked. He said, because he too he used to work at OAU. I don't know if he's a lecturer. So, but I have to come in here as a student. And has been trying to get something doing this and that. The truth is, uh, even here in the UK, I get a lot and lot of people reaching out to me. And these are students that is do I have link for job? Is there where I can help? Much more people coming from back home in Nigeria. Honestly, I wish I can just give them link and say, you know what, this link will give you job. This is not to say that there are no jobs in the UK. Please take it from me. There are jobs in the UK, but I know that it is harder now to get sponsorship, jobs with sponsorship ever since the new immigration rule that raised up the bar of the minimum amount that companies offering sponsorship will be able to pay their staff before they can give sponsorship. So I think that rule made it a little bit harder for students to now get a job that have sponsorship because I know a handful of people that have reached out to me, not that they are not seeing jobs, they are seeing jobs, but getting that job with sponsorship. I mean, we all know that the average salary here in the UK is in the range of £25,000. Imagine the government bringing up rule that companies that want to sponsor must pay a minimum of £37,000. So you see the gap, £25,000 to £37,000, which was not how it used to be. People that are coming in as students, they are the real MVP. I really, really wish that they can bring down that cap on the minimum amount that a company needs to pay to offer sponsorship because that is the major barrier that is preventing lots of students here from getting a job as swiftly as they would have gotten. I wish God can just come through for many students that are on the verge of going over to another country because they cannot keep up, their visa is about to expire. Yes, they are given three years postgraduate study work permits after studying now, which is a good one. I'm hopeful and optimistic for a whole lot of them that at least within these three years, maybe from upscaling, getting certification and experience, hands-on experience on some job, they can be able to at least leverage and get a higher paying role. Having come to the light of this understanding, if I have a student that has the opportunity of maybe going to Canada and going to the UK, just as an example, Accept your prayerfully sure that God is leading you to the UK. Then I'd rather say if you have these two opportunities, go for Canada because in Canada you know that you stand a chance to apply for PR even while you're still a student. If you have the Canadian experience class, you can apply under that section. But I'm not saying Canada is much easier to get into than the UK, but I'm just citing as an example. Because people have reached out privately to me asking me, eh, I'm trying to jack my, what do you advise? Should I come to the UK or to Canada? Honestly, it's up to you. But I just give this suggestion based on what I've seen here, being that if you're coming on the student route, it is longer for you to get a permanent stay in the UK compared to if you go in as a student to Canada. While if you come in as a skilled worker, at least that one, you know you have just five years, all things being equal, as long as God continues to sustain you, protect your company that is offering you the sponsorship, that nothing goes wrong. Because it's life. Life is filled with uncertainty. Nobody is sure of tomorrow. It is only God. So may God just continue to help all of us. May God continue to prosper us in the land where we have come to. In fact, with the recent ongoing protests, I mean, I've seen lots and lots of posts on social media. Uh, be careful, the UK is not safe. Let me just tell us that some of these things are exaggerated. Yes, take it from me. They are exaggerated. I'm not saying there is no protest. There is, but not the way the media is 
painting it, please. We are safe. In fact, I saw one post about a man that has just gone back to Nigeria and advised other Nigerians in the UK to please come back. In Jesus' name, we are covered with the blood of Jesus. We are not coming back for now. It is what is happening now that we are talking about in the future. When we get to the bridge of coming back, God will help us to know how to cross that bridge. This post is to also send out big hugs to everybody in here as a student. Please, it's not to discourage you. It's not to discourage you. I enjoy living in the UK. Take it from me. And not just because I came in on this skilled work out. Have I started making any big money? No. But the environment has been peaceful. The environment has been meeting my social need my economic need compared to while i was in nigeria it has been meeting my basic amenity need my kids are happier here they enjoy their school and by the grace of god we know and we trust that it will keep getting better and better i recently came across this mom that i'm watching her video i will link her youtube name here she migrated to the uk in the 80s with her husband her husband came in with a british scholarship as a student and she has been gracious enough to share her experience with us and i have been watching her video and enjoying her video i thank you all for watching this video till now i appreciate every one of you that have been binge watching all my videos and sharing your wonderful comments with me i look forward to seeing you in my subsequent videos